Hey, there is always a message, Jeff, on the road show. What is the message from this company? Uh, please don't treat us like Twitter. Please see us as Alibaba. <laughs> I, you know, when you think back on IPOs, there haven't been a lot of big, high-profile IPOs. Yep. This is one of the few. Uh, so the question is, does this, does this company, which does not speak to anyone under the age of 40, you know, they're mostly, or I'm sorry, they only speak to the age, people under the age of 40. <laughs> you know, is this company going to build revenue, um, you know, this, this content... Uh, consumption from the millennials is that going to work are they going to get advertisers is it going to grow you know that's that's the question you know they're, they're they've got the spectacles out now and is that going to be something that's going to catch on obviously it's popular but does it is it a, a trend that goes away in six months I mean that's the real question is this something that has long-term potential well let's talk about growth the message is we are not Twitter is the message also we're not Twitter because don't look at our monthly average users because they're not climbing as quick as maybe they, they should be yeah they've fallen off you know I mean the revenues are up like Six times this year yeah. versus last year, so that's a that's great news, and they're gonna they're gonna point to that on the roadshow, of course. But the daily daily user rate is down. I think it's down like fifty percent from where it was just last year. So that's gonna that's a concern. You know, it doesn't have a long track record. It, it's gonna be if you're an investor, it's gonna be hard to know is this going to keep growing when you don't have year after year to point to. You had you know you had a better understanding of other companies when they went public. Again, I mentioned Alibaba. We had Facebook. You know, you had Twitter. You you saw more of a track record I think that people could pinpoint to and and you know this is a very rich valuation they are looking for and there's not a lot of shareholder uh, the shareholders are not going to have a lot of say in how this company is run in fact it's about, it's about the least shareholder friendly corporate governance you've seen so Jeff you've talked to executives at snap as have I and what they will tell you is we're not like Twitter for an entirely different reason which is we're not so concerned about how many people are consuming the content as how many people on snapchat are creating content they use that as a metric of engagement that says it's fundamentally different this is not a passive experience it's an active one and that changes the business model right right I mean again that's that's the argument it, you know it's hard for me I've never I've never I've studied snap but I don't use snap I'm not their consumer so it's hard to see if this is going Going to stick with people again is this just a trend that will be popular for a couple of years and then it moves on I've always been wondering is someone going to acquire them you know we, we saw was it uh, just a couple months ago app last in January app dynamics got acquired by yeah. Cisco um, you know right before its IPO so people have been wondering okay is that gonna happen with snapchat now it looks like that's unlikely given this valuation it would be a real expensive whether you were Google or Facebook or Disney or whomever you know you're not gonna want to throw 30 plus billion dollars out there for this I don't think um, um, I, I just don't know if this has a long-term, you know, growth. Well, Jeff, the big question, can you create a sticky ecosystem if volume is not your goal? Can you? I, I don't think you can, to be honest. I think it, it feels like something that should fit into a company. This yeah. seems like a business that fits inside a Google or fits inside Facebook better than it does that it fits as a standalone business. But uh, to Jonathan's point, their viewers or their users may not be growing as fast, but their revenue is. They're early on in that cycle. They've just started really right. monetizing it. So isn't that part of the value here is they think they have a lot of room to grow on the revenue side? Yeah, they do. They, I mean, that's the argument. And they feel like they're going to they're gonna partner up with companies like ESPN. They're going to they're gonna do business with them, and that'll help grow the revenue and hopefully eventually get to a point where they're, they're actually making money. Their, their revenue grew a lot, but their losses also went up substantially. So, you know, is that going to come down over time?